Stop chasing the wrong goals. Here's how to discover the true purpose in your life. In this video, I'll present five techniques that you can use right now to take on the challenge of unlocking your true potential through deep reflection and self-discovery. Self-reflection is a powerful tool that can help you unlock your full potential and live a more authentic, fulfilling life. It's the process of examining your thoughts, feelings, and actions to better understand yourself and the world around you. By reflecting on your experiences, you can identify patterns, habits, and areas for improvement that will allow you to grow and evolve as a unique individual. But self-reflection isn't always easy. In fact, many barriers stand in your way. One of the biggest is your own ego. Many people find it hard to admit mistakes or weaknesses and instead rationalize their actions to avoid taking responsibility. This lack of accountability prevents growth. Fear is another major barrier. You may be afraid of discovering uncomfortable truths about yourself, or you might fear that reflecting on your failures will make you feel unworthy or inadequate. But this fear keeps you from exploring your full potential. And then there's the busy nature of life. Many of us lead hectic lives, thinking we don't have the time or energy for deep reflection. We prioritize everything else over our personal growth, and that causes us to stagnate. Without self-reflection, you might miss valuable opportunities to grow, evolve, and truly connect with yourself. It's also common to feel lost when it comes to self-reflection. You might not know where to start or how to do it effectively. It can feel overwhelming and thoughts and emotions swirling around make it hard to focus on the present moment. But don't worry, today I'll share five tips to help you overcome these barriers and unlock your true potential through self-reflection. Tip number one, start journaling. One of the most effective ways to engage in self-reflection is through journaling. By writing down your thoughts, feelings, and experiences, you can process emotions identify patterns, and gain valuable insights. Journaling lets you clarify your values and goals, helping you understand your motivations and behaviors. For example, let's say you're feeling overwhelmed but can't quite pinpoint why. By journaling regularly, you can start noticing a pattern. Perhaps you're taking on too many responsibilities at work or maybe neglecting your personal time. Once identified, this insight allows you to make meaningful changes and improve your well-being. Tip number two, practice meditation. Another powerful tool for self-reflection is meditation. By quieting your mind and focusing on the present moment, you gain a deeper insight and understanding of who you are and the world around you. Meditation helps you develop self-awareness, letting go of distractions and mental clutter. This practice provides a sense of calm and clarity that can empower your growth. For instance, if you're constantly worried about the future or dwelling on past mistakes, meditation can help ground you. Over time, you'll find it's easier to reflect on your experiences in the present moment without judgment, which will help you process emotions and move forward. Tip number three, use guided questions. If you're unsure where to start with self-reflection, guided questions can be incredibly helpful. You can start by asking yourself things like, what am I grateful for? Or what can I improve on? These type of questions provide structure and direction and help you tap into your values, strengths, and potential areas of growth. For example, after a tough day at work, you could reflect by asking, what did I handle well today? And what can I do differently next time? This approach gives you specific areas to focus on, helping you continually improve without feeling overwhelmed. Tip number four, acknowledge your patterns. A key part of self-reflection is recognizing patterns in your thoughts and behaviors. Sometimes you might get stuck in cycles of self-doubt, people-pleasing, or procrastination without even realizing it. By regularly reflecting on your actions, you can spot these patterns and make a conscious effort to change them. I had a breakthrough moment in my own life when I realized I was stuck in a pattern of people pleasing. I regularly tried to make others feel happy, often at the expense of my own needs. 
Through reflection, I discovered this was a pattern that was rooted in the fear of not being liked. Once I became aware of this, I was able to start working on building self-acceptance and setting healthier boundaries. Tip number five, focus on self-love and acceptance through the practice of reflection. Too often, we're overly critical of ourselves, focusing on our perceived flaws rather than celebrating our strengths. Self-reflection should not be just about identifying areas of improvement, but also about recognizing your worth and the progress you've made. For example, when reflecting on a difficult situation, don't just focus on what went wrong. Acknowledge what you did well and how far you've come. This balanced approach helps build resilience and self-compassion, and that empowers you to keep moving forward. By applying these five tips, journaling, using guided questions, meditation, recognizing patterns, and balancing self-love, you can break through the barriers holding you back and unlock your true potential. As the philosopher Socrates once said, the unexamined life is not worth living. Through self-reflection, you can gain the clarity, wisdom, and growth to live your most authentic and fulfilling life. So, what's been your experience with self-reflection? Have you had any powerful insights or breakthroughs? Share them with me in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my next video on growth and development. So, take a moment to reflect on what you learned today. And remember, you've got this.